Welcome friends, Becky, Tara, Eschenroder here. Um, welcome to the mat. Uh, it's an honor to be here in front of each and every one of you. And um, today, just want to invite you to take a journey inward. Um, and by doing so, perhaps taking a journey outside. So personally, I find a lot of grounding, a lot of quiet, a lot of connection when I wander outside, whether it be in a backyard, whether it be just stepping outside, taking my shoes off and feeling my feet on the, in the grass, whether it's hiking in the mountains. Um, nature has a lot to teach us, but it's up to us to pay attention. So, um, so yeah, whether you are actually outside right now, or perhaps um, using your imagination, we're born with these incredible minds and so good at using our imagination when we're kids, but no need to stop. Um, so I invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Find a tall and comfortable seated position. Just giving yourself permission to land. As the eyes close, beginning to tap into your breath. Noticing the sounds that are going on around. Noticing physical sensation. Feeling that earth underneath of you, always there like a promise, lifting you up towards the sky. Using these inspirational trees that surround to remind us to rise tall up towards the sun. And as you tap into your breath, Remembering that element of air, also of water, that reminds us to flow. Taking a deep breath in to fill your belly. Fill your ribs and fill your chest. Exhale to empty your chest. Empty your ribs. Empty your belly. Full breath in, fill your belly. Fill your ribs. Fill your chest. Exhale to empty your chest, empty your ribs, empty your belly. Allowing your breath to continue at your own natural rhythm, your own pace, but now inviting in that depth. The mind starts to wander, gently drawing it back to the breath, a constant reminder of now, for we cannot go back and breathe yesterday. We can't take breath now for tomorrow. We can only breathe right now. Give yourself permission to do so. As you gather your hands to the center of your heart in Anjali Mudra, palms pressing together, I invite you now to create an intention for your practice today. Allowing this intention to be instinctual No need to think too much about it. And if nothing comes to mind, we'll perhaps invite in the space. Bowing your forehead to your fingertips, seal that intention. And as you inhale, lift the forehead, press the palms together, and reach everything to sky, offer it up to the universe. And bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift up, gaze follows. Exhale, separate the palms and press the atmosphere away. Spread the fingers wide, feel the air. Inhale, lifting. And then exhale, let's come forward onto all fours, finding ourselves in a neutral tabletop position, starting to warm up the spine. Taking a deep breath in, let the belly fall, tuck the toes, look up to the sky. And then as you exhale, point your toes, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Deep breath in, let the belly drape all the way back down, lift the heart and the gaze. 
and exhale to round. Allowing yourself to continue to flow with the pace of your own breath now. Feel free to close your eyes again. Maybe start to find organic movements with your spine rolling in circles. Maybe it feels good to drop back into child's pose. Maybe bring the heart forward, let the hips fall, toes reach to your head. No wrong way to move right now. Allow yourself to explore that internal landscape. Taking a step inside, looking deeply within, not necessarily with that sense of sight. Feeling free to allow the breath to act as a catalyst for change perhaps as an anchor for stillness. And to get through one more breath in, one more breath out, bringing it back to the middle, keeping into those roots so that you can continue to flow. Grounding the knuckles and fingertips down once more. This time, send your right leg back behind you and extend your left arm forward. Feel that right pinky toe drop down. Take a breath in here. Exhale, draw your elbow into your knee. Inhale, reach to extend. Exhale, draw it in again, elbow into your knee. Inhale, reach to extend. Now lower your, right, your left hand down. You're gonna extend your right leg out to the right side. Sit back into that left knee, release the forehead down. Deep breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale, full breath in, full breath out, tap into those roots, and inhale, lift back up, send your right leg back behind you, and then lower that right knee down. Other side, sending that left leg back this time, extending your right arm forward, inhale, exhale, draw your elbow into your knee, just like you're saying yes. Inhale to extend. Exhale again, yes. Inhale to extend, one more time. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Now this time, lowering that right hand down, extending that left leg out to the left side. Sit back into that right knee, release your forehead down. Deep breath in. Exhale, surrendering to the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in, breath out, inhale, rising back up, sending that left leg back, and then lowering that left knee back down. Now, re-tapping into those roots all over again, grounding the knuckles and fingertips down, step the right and left foot back into a plank position. Now, if any time your body is telling you to lower your knees, please honor that, lower your knees. Pressing the ground away, slight rounding between your shoulder blades here. Looking forward, not down, not back. That's not where you're going. Inhale here, exhale, breath in, breath out. Now looking forward, inhale, shift your shoulders over your fingertips. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Uncurl the toes, bring your tippy fingers out to the side and your elbows up, getting into the shoulders here. Inhale, lift. Now exhale, drop your right shoulder, look up and over to the left. Inhale back to center and exhale switch. Inhale back to center. Exhale drop the right shoulder down. Inhale back to center. Exhale drop the left shoulder down. Inhale back up to center and exhale lower your chest. Bring your hands just next to your shoulders. Sit back into child's pose. Now looking forward, inhale, rise to your knees, hook your thumbs, reach up and back, moving from the ground up. Palms together, exhale, bow to the earth. Now looking forward, bring your arms forward and slithering forward like a snake, find Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Now pretend that there's a string attached to your tailbone, it pulls you back into your child's pose. On your inhale, step your right foot between your hands, knee over ankle, hook your thumbs, reach up and back. Exhale, lower your hands, frame the right foot, tuck your left toes to lift the knee. Inhale, step to plank, pause. And then exhale, press back, child's pose. Inhale, rise to your knees, hook your thumbs, reach up and back. 
Exhale, palms together, bowing back down. Arms forward. Inhale, Bhujangasana, like that snake. Exhale, pressing back, child's pose. This time, left foot steps between your hands, knee over ankle. Right knee stays down. Hook your thumbs, reach up and back. Exhale, lower the hands. Tuck your right toes to inhale, step back to plank, pause. Exhale, come to child's pose. Keep looking forward this time. Inhale, draw your heart forward, hips fall, toes reach to your head. Exhale, press back and tuck your toes under. Find straight legs and downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. You can pedal out your heels here if that feels good. Bending one knee, bending the other knee. Sway the hips back and forth, side to side. Maybe you're craving stillness, reaching both heels down. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Now let's check in with our alignment here. So we're going to inhale forward to plank. Our shoulders will come directly over our wrists. And then exhale, press back downward facing dog. Let's invite in a little bit more space in the legs. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees to the right. Your heels fall to the left, kind of like you're cross country skiing. And then inhale, come to center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, come to center. Come high to your toes. Open the mouth. Reach the heels down. Let it go. Now inhale, come high to your toes again. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands. And inhale, come to the top of the mat, find a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, bend your knees, roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time, let the head come up last. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards that sun. Exhale, and bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees again. Allow yourself to round up one vertebrae at a time, head last. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold. Once more, bend the knees, roll up, head last. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to plank, pause. Now we have options. You can push straight to downward facing dog, perhaps. Maybe lower down to the belly, come to cobra pose, or shift your shoulders over your fingertips. Exhale to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Let's do that cross country skiing bit again. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, knees to the right, heels to the left. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, switch. Inhale, high to your toes. Open the mouth, release the heels down. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or float, top of the mat, yogi's choice. Exhale and fold. Root down into the earth, rise high, Urdhva Hastasana, reach towards that glorious sun. Exhale and bow, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step or float back. Lower down knees, chest and chin or chaturanga or skip it completely. Maybe you have some handstands in your practice and you'd like to pause in the air. Make this vinyasa yours. Inhale, high to the toes. Exhale, knees to the right, heels to the left. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, switch. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, reach your heels down. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale to the top of the mat, find a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Once more, root down, rise high towards that sun, instinctively so. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step or float back, using the full extent of every single breath as you make your way through your vinyasa. Not cheating yourself, allow yourself to experience all. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, knees to the right, heels to the left. 
Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale and switch. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, reach your heels down. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, come to the top of the mat, find a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. This time, inhale, bend the knees, dip the hips, lift the arms, Utkatasana chair. And exhale, straighten out your legs, sweep your arms back, let something go. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms lift. Exhale, release, arms back. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, let it go, Uttanasana. Inhale, chair, listen. Exhale, soft fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, let's step the left foot back to a lunge. Far enough back so the right knee is over the right ankle. Pivot your left heel down to 45 degrees. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, melt into that right knee, Virabhadrasana one. Drawing your right hip back and your left hip forward, shoulders releasing here. Inhale, invite in the space. Exhale, lower the hands down. Come on to your back toes. Inhale, step forward to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, sweep them back, let it go. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, release. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale again, let go. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, just fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands. Step your right foot back to a lunge this time. Pivot your right heel down, rising up Virabhadrasana 1, sinking into that left knee, release the shoulders. Energetically drawing that left hip back and that right hip forward. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, step to plank. So again, down dog, maybe you flow to vinyasa or not to vinyasa, that is the question. Only you know the answer. Coming back to downward facing dog, finding stillness here. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Hello, nature. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. In through the nose. Release through the mouth. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, Utkatasana, bend the knees, dip the hips, lift the arms, chair. Exhale, come to stand. Close the eyes, hands to heart. Dropping down to your feet, dropping down to your roots, coming back to that intention. Out of the mind, into the body. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. In through the nose, sigh out through the mouth. Inviting in the sense of sight, finding gratitude in exactly where you are. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to extend. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands. You can step or you can float back, lower knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Now I'm going to break down a little sequence for us, a little river flow, I like to call it. So we're going to break it down, we're going to pause, and then we're going to string it all together, turning it into a mandala flow, using the front and the backs of our mats, making it a moving meditation. So we're going to inhale, send that right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, begin to bend the right knee and roll the right hip open over the left, pointing your right toes towards the left glute. Squeezing that right heel here. Now inhale, straighten out that right leg. And exhale, that right foot is going to come between your hands, the knee over ankle. You're going to lower your left knee down. Keep your back toes tucked under for where we're going. And inhale, arms lift high. And as you exhale, begin to reach the right hand down to the right side, reaching your left arm up and over. Now, 
The right fingertips might not touch. If you have a block, you can bring it underneath of the right hand if that's comfortable for you. You can also find a little bit more of a back bend here. The more you do, the more you're gonna feel it in that whole left side of the body, opening up your left hip flexor. Use that right big toe pressing down into the earth as an anchor. Take another deep breath in here. Breath out. Now inhale, reach both arms up. Now those left toes are, gonna be, are tucked under, so breath in. And then exhale, you're gonna reach your arms back, lift your left knee. And on your next inhale, lift your arms up, arriving in crescent lunge, land. Take a breath in here. And then you're gonna exhale, sweep your right arm back, your left arm forward, so you're opening up to the right side. And then inhale, bring it back to center. As you do, you're gonna pivot your right, your left heel down to the mat behind you. And then interlace your hands behind your back here. Inhale to shine that heart open towards the wonderful sky. And then exhale, bowing in devotion, drawing your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Now notice, when you bow forward, a lot of times the outer hip likes to go out to the side. So if that's happening, drawing that right sitting bone underneath towards the midline. Breath in here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, coming all the way back up. As you do, lift that left heel behind you. Back to crescent lunge. Now we're gonna exhale, open up to the right side again. Left arm forward, right arm back. Now staying here, inhale, exalted warrior, reaching that left arm up and back. And on your exhale, we're gonna open up to warrior two. So in warrior two, your back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. You're gonna heel to your right foot a little bit over to the left, sinking into the knee, pressing the knee towards the pinky toe. Always looking to see if you can see that big toe on the inside of your knee, meaning that the knee isn't going in or in front of that right heel. Extending your arms out, shoulders release, landing here. Breath in, breath out. So we're gonna flip our right palm up, take it back and reverse your warrior. Just keep sinking into that right knee, keeping the integrity of that right knee. Now that left hand can reach back, just make sure you're not pushing on that knee joint. You can also reach that left arm around, maybe to the right hip crease. Take another breath in here, and then exhale to warrior two. Good. Now on your inhale, you're gonna straighten out your right leg, bend your left knee and gather some love into your heart. And then exhale, share it with the world. Inhale, gather. Exhale to share. Inhale to gather. Exhale to share. You gotta take care of yourself too. Inhale, give yourself some love. Exhale, pause. Flip back and reverse again on your inhale. And then exhale to warrior two. Good, now inhale, you're gonna send your right arm back, your left arm forward. Yoga ninjas. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale again, right palm back, left palm forward. Also a baya mudra. Nothing to fear, nothing to hide. Open up, warrior two. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Another flip back, reverse on your inhale. Now on your exhale, straight right leg bend, your left knee finds skandhasana, deep bend in that left knee. Now you can stay here if you'd like. Maybe reach the tippy fingers out. And now skandhasana can have lots of different shapes, just like all yoga poses. Maybe your skandhasana is right here. Listen to your body. Maybe you'd like to find a bind, wrapping that left arm around, reaching the right hand to join. Now if this hurts the neck to gaze over the right shoulder, feel free to take the gaze down to the floor, to the earth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Feeling that space being created in the right hamstring, inhale. If you're bound, exhale, release. Inhale, stay low as you come to a lunge. And exhale, step back to plank. Decision time, push to down dog or take it through a flow. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Just allow yourself a moment to feel. Notice difference between right and left side of the body. Notice if anything came up for you there. As we dance, as we flow, just like a river, 
some stuff can get shaken up. But knowing that in shaking up and then finding stillness again, you are able to let go of those things that no longer serve while clarity presents itself to you. Inhale to send that left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee and roll that left hip open over the right, reaching that right heel down, squeezing your left heel towards that right glute, feeling that opening up in that left hip flexor. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. And exhale, bringing that left foot between your hands. Right knee is down. So again, keeping that right to the right toes tucked under for convenience for what's coming next. Well, we'll remain in this now moment, of course. Arms lift up, inhale. Exhale, begin to reach the left fingertips down to the left side, that right arm up and over. So again, maybe you have a block that you bring underneath of the right hand, left hand. <laughs> maybe, it doesn't touch, that's totally cool. The more that you reach that right arm back, finding a back bend, the more you're gonna open up that right hip flexor. Energetically drawing your left hip back and your right hip forward also to protect from overstretching. Inhale here. Exhale, breath in, breath out, inhale, exhale. Now you're going to inhale, sending that left arm up, and then exhale, lift your right knee behind, reach your arms back. Inhale, lift the arms as you arrive, crescent lunge, and then exhale, sweep that left arm back, the right arm forward. Inhale, back to center, pivot your right heel down. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, prepare. Inhale, shine that heart open to inspire the sun. And then exhale, bowing to the divine within all being. Left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Now again, notice that that left hip, left hip went out to the side. If it did, gently, lovingly draw it back under. Release the head, release the neck, breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale, full breath in, full breath out, prepare, inhale, rising up, lift your right heel as you do, arms release alongside of the ears. Exhale, open back up, left arm back, right arm forward, pause. Inhale, exalted, reaching that right arm up and back, and then you're going to exhale, open to Virabhadrasana 2. So this time, your right foot is parallel to the back of the mat. You're going to heel to your left foot a little bit over to the right. Sinking into that left knee, pressing the knee towards the pinky toe, looking for that big toe on the inside. Now here, flip your left palm up, take it back, reverse to hold. Again, maybe just lightly touching that right hand back. Maybe reaching the right arm around to the left hip crease. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, full breath in, exhale, bring it back, fear of Adrasana 2. Now inhale, gather that energy into your heart, bring it in, and exhale to share. Inhale to gather, exhale to share. Inhale to gather, exhale to share one more time. Inhale, draw it in, exhale. Flip back, reverse on your inhale again. Exhale to warrior two. Good ninjas, inhale, right palm forward, left palm back. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, abaya, nothing to fear, nothing to hide. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, once again. Exhale. Inhale, flip back and reverse again. Skandasana on your exhale, deep bend into that right knee. So again, maybe we stay here. Maybe the tippy fingers walk forward for support. Maybe there's a bind. Now you can see wrapping that right arm around, reaching that left hand back and behind, taking hold of the left wrist or fingers, gazing over the left shoulder or down to that right foot, whatever's comfortable for you. Inhale here. Exhale. Remember the bind is optional. Inhale. Listen to your body. Exhale, take another full breath in, exhale, release if you're bound, stay low, come to a lunge at the top of your mat, step back to plank, take it through that flow, or skip it, come straight to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Arriving once again in that upside down V, also resembling a shape of a beautiful mountain, inhale, 
exhale, breath in, breath out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, knees wide, big toes together. Coming into child's pose and just taking a moment to reconnect with that intention, with that sweet, precious, tiny seed that you planted at the beginning of your practice. Allowing yourself to pause, allowing yourself to land once more before moving on. We're gonna string that whole sequence together, one breath, one movement. On the skandhasanas, we're going to move to the opposite end of the mat. You'll see. I believe in you. So looking forward towards the hands. Inhale, draw the heart forward. Hips fall, toes reach to your head. Exhale, press back, tuck the toes. Inhale, straighten out those legs. Exhale, reach your heels down. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Coming into our moving meditation. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee, roll the right hip open over the left. Inhale, straighten out the right leg. Exhale, your right foot between your hands. Left knee comes down. Arms lift up on your inhale. Exhale, right tippy fingers down, left arm up and over. Inhale, reaching up to center. Exhale, sweep your arms back as you lift your left knee behind you. <laughs> inhale, arms lift. Exhale, open to the right side, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, as you bring it back to center, lower your left heel down, prepare. Exhale, bow. Catch your hands on the way. The right shoulder comes to the inside of your right knee. Root down, rise up. Virabhadrasana, one. Lift your left heel on the way. And then exhale, open to the right again. Inhale, flip back, exalted warrior. And then exhale, open up, Virabhadrasana 2, landing here. Right palm flips, take it back, reverse, inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to gather energy into your heart. Exhale, Virabhadrasana 2. Flip back, reverse again on your inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Abhaya ninja, inhale, right palm back, left palm forward. Exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, flip back, reverse again. Exhale, deepen into that left knee, Skandasana. Now we're gonna inhale, come to center. Exhale, bend to your right knee, and then come to a lunge at the back of your mat. So now your left foot is ready to inhale, high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee, roll the left hip open over the right. Inhale, straight left leg. Exhale, your left foot between your hands. Your right knee comes down this time. Keep those toes tucked under. Arms lift up, breath in. Exhale, reaching the right tippy fingers down, left arm up and over. Inhale, reach both arms up to center. And then exhale, lift your right knee, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift both arms up, arriving in crescent lunge. And we're gonna exhale, open up towards the side, funky twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Lower that heel down. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open up your heart. And then exhale, bow. Left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Inhale, rising back up. Lift your heel on the way. And then exhale, open to the side. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, take it back and exalt it. And then exhale, open it up. Fear of a drasana too. All right, I'm going to start that side over because I just twisted the, long, the wrong way. <laughs> but I won't do the whole thing again, so it's just, so here, and then inhale, send that left leg up and back. Exhale, bend the left knee, roll the left hip open over the right. Inhale, straighten out the left leg. And then exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Lower the right knee down, keep those toes tucked under. Arms lift up, breath in here. And then exhale, left fingertips down, right arm up and over. Inhale, reaching back up to center. Exhale, lift the right knee, send the arms back. Inhale, sweep your arms high. And then exhale, open up to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, back to center, the right heel comes down. And as you exhale, bow and catch those hands on the way, left shoulder to knee. Root down, rise back up, lift your right heel on the way. 
and then exhale, open up to the left again, right arm forward, exalt it on your inhale, take it back and reverse, and exhale, open back up, Virabhadrasana 2, inhale, take it back and reverse, and then on your exhale, gather straight left leg, bend your right knee, inhale, flip back and reverse, and then exhale, the left palm back, right palm forward, Inhale, flip back and reverse. Exhale, skandasana, bend in the right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend in the left knee. Inhale, lunge to the top of your mat. Step it back to plank. Flow or find stillness. Coming all the way back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Deep inhale. Exhale, in through the nose, release through the mouth, inhale, come forward to plank, exhale, sit back into your child's pose, resting the forehead on the earth once again, releasing into stillness, allowing yourself to settle. So thinking of a body of water, when it gets all shaken up, all of those particles whirling and swirling about. It takes time and it takes patience to let all of the sand, the dirt, settle to the bottom once again for us to regain that clarity. And this is an active surrender. No need to do. Thinking about what happens if you take your hand to try to press the particles of water and of dirt back down. It's just going to rise up all over again. Wait, listen, breathe, permission to pause. Staying with your intention, staying with your breath. Slowly lifting the gaze. Now as you inhale, draw the heart forward, hips fall, toes reach to your head. Exhale, press back, tuck the toes. Inhale, straighten out your legs. Exhale, reach your heels down. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, send that right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee and roll the right hip open over the left. Inhale, straighten out your right leg. And exhale, bring your right shin to the top of the mat. Use your left toes to scoot your left knee back to any amount, lining up for your pigeon. Now, if this hurts your knee or your hip whatsoever, please come to your back, cross your right ankle over your left knee and draw in. Now, when you've had enough scooching, you can curl or untuck those left toes behind you. Let's bring our hands in front of us. Middle fingers facing, facing towards one another. Inhale, press the ground away, looking up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, press the ground away, looking up. Exhale, and back. Inhale, press the ground away, look up. And exhale, bow, releasing into your pigeon. So maybe you stay on your forearms here. Maybe extend the arms forward in front of you, fully and completely. Maybe there is a bind that you would like to take or a twist. Feel free to go there. Listening to your body, honoring what it's telling you that it needs. Breathing here, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Slowly, coming all the way back up. Now, shifting your weight over to the right sitting bone, we're going to sweep our left leg forward slightly, lining up for Janu Shirshasana. Bringing the sole of the right foot to the inside of that left thigh. Pivoting your chest towards that left leg, aiming your heart towards your pinky toe. Arms lift up with a breath in, and then exhale, bow. Inhale, look forward to extend. And exhale, fold. Now one thing that I really like to do here in Janusir Shasana, 
just an option again. Maybe take hold of the outside of the left foot with your right hand, or if it doesn't reach, you can push on the outside of your left leg. Now your left hand is gonna reach through to your right knee and gently pull. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, release. Now, bringing that right palm behind you, just behind your sitting bone, you're gonna start to roll on to the right shin, reaching your left arm up and over, full body stretch, take a deep breath in here, and exhale, bring it all the way back down. So now making your way back into that pigeon shape at the top of your mat, left leg back, tuck your left toes, Plant your palms, send that right leg up. Now maybe it feels good to you to roll out the hip and the hip socket. Whatever feels good, whatever feels right, coming all the way back to downward facing dog. Other side, sending that left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee and roll the left hip open over the right. Inhale, straighten out the leg. And then exhale, bring your left shin to the top of the mat. Flexing that left foot flat to protect the knee joint. Now same thing here. If you feel any twinging in the knee or in the hip, please come to your back and cross your right, your left ankle over your right knee, drawing the back of that thigh in. So now using your right toes to scooch the right knee back. Uncurl the toes, bringing your hands in front of you, middle fingers facing towards one another. Inhale, pressing the ground away, look up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, creating space, press it away. Exhale, bow. Inhale, pressing it away. Exhale, coming all the way down again, maybe to the forearms, maybe to the forehead, extending the arms forward. Listening to and honoring your body. Breath in. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, slowly begin to press yourself back up again. So same thing, you're gonna shift your weight over to the left sitting bone, sending that right leg out to the side, pivoting your chest towards that right leg, sending your arms high to the sky, and then exhale, fold. And I'll face towards you guys so you can see. <laughs> so folding over that right leg. So staying here, maybe bringing that left hand to the outside of the right foot or outside of the right leg if it doesn't reach. Reaching that right hand through to the left knee. Gently pull. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Slowly pressing yourself back up again. Bringing that left hand behind you this time, pressing into the earth, rolling onto that left shin, reach your right, right arm up and over, full breath in. And then exhale, come all the way back down to a seat. Good. So this time, let's just extend both of our legs forward in Paschimottanasana, or in Dandasana. Just gave away where we're going. <laughs> drawing your toes towards your face, taking your inner thighs, drawing them out to the side. Arms lift up, deep breath in. And then exhale, fold. Maybe the hands come to the shins, maybe the ankles, maybe the big toes, maybe the outside edges of the feet. Inhale, look forward again, lengthen, and exhale, fold. So instead of really trying to like touch our nose to our knees, think about reaching the lower part of your rib cage to the tops of your thighs. So we're not rounding that thoracic spine, we're keeping it straight. Keep drawing those toes towards your face, keeping those feet flexed flat. Inhale, exhale here. <laughs> Inhale, 
Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, slowly coming all the way back up. Just pausing here with the eyes closed. Keep drawing your toes towards your face. Sitting up tall in your power. Sitting up tall in your truth. Now gently opening the eyes. Bring your feet about mat's distance apart. Now we're going to take Vira Mudra or Kali Mudra. Interlacing your fingers. Index fingers release. Your left thumb is over your right thumb. Sitting up tall, drawing this into your power center. This is fearlessness as well. Courage. Drawing it into that power center. Toes towards your face still. Arms lift up, inhale. And then exhale, point your toes and point forward in front of you. Inhale, sitting up tall, toes towards your face. And then exhale, lean back, release the mudra. Inhale, catch it again. Exhale, point forward. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, and back. Inhale up. Exhale, point. Inhale up. Exhale, back one more time. Inhale, catch the mudra. Exhale, point forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, back a little bit more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we're almost there. Inhale, and exhale, come all the way down to your back. Drawing your knees in, rocking back and forth, side to side. Give yourself some love, unconditional, loving gratitude for this exquisite vessel, this precious animal that is your physical body, house of your soul. Taking this time for any final movements before you make your way into your Shavasana, so feel free to spinal twist. Maybe you're just ready to release. Legs extend long, arms alongside. Maybe it feels good to you to bring the soles of the feet together, the knees out wide. Maybe one hand over your heart, one hand over your solar plexus. Allowing the eyes to close. Allowing yourself to rest. Allowing yourself to release. Allowing yourself to be held by this loving mother that lies beneath of us. This Father Sky reminds you over and over again with love that you are protected. The sun will always shine down upon you. Even when there's clouds in the sky, the light shines through. Allowing yourself this time and this space to remember that you are timeless. You are limitless. You are infinite. Give yourself full and complete permission to just be.
I was searching for something. Something outside of myself. So I went outside. As I approached the river, she sang to me in a voice, so clear and so pure. Her melody was unpredictable as it flowed, but exactly what it needed to be, with clarity, expressing everything flowing through her. It's okay to let go, to trust, and to flow. Thank you, Sister River. I turned to my brother, a strong and sturdy aspen, standing there, firmly rooted, yet flowing gratefully, gently, and easefully in the mountain air. He was not alone. He was surrounded by his brothers and sisters, firmly rooted into one another, cultivating life and growth from a source so sacred and unseen. It's okay to bend and necessary to do so in order to not break. Thank you, brother tree. I lifted my gaze and saw them there, mother mountain and father sky. There was no separation as they merged into one another. There was no horizon, blending together as if water and paint. I listened. They said nothing. No words were necessary. I felt them as they held one another and every other particle of energy in that moment, as they were me. I was searching for something, something outside of myself. And by going outside, I went in. Enjoy your breath. Slowly and gently begin to bring awareness back into your fingers, back into your toes, wiggling them softly. Feeling free to remain still. Perhaps begin to rotate your wrists and your ankles. Maybe reach your arms over your head, pointing your toes the opposite way, whatever feels right, whatever feels good. Never so slowly, ever so gently, begin to bend your knees as you roll to the right, resting your head on your arm. Holding space for the pause. And mindfully here, as you press down into the earth, begin to make your way back into a comfortable seat keeping your eyes closed. Allowing yourself to establish a tall seat here in this new beginning, rising up in your truth, inviting peace, inviting stillness, inviting clarity, knowing that you created this that this is who you are and that you have every ability to take this off of your mat and into your world whenever and wherever you desire. Gathering your hands to the center of your heart the way that we began with a deep, mindful inhale of gratitude. Press the palms together and slowly surrender all to sky. Open the eyes and let go of that which no longer serves you. Bring your hands to your heart. 
Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful souls, I thank you for your time, for your energy, for your light. I thank you for allowing me to teach as you continue to inspire me in return. I thank you for allowing me to continue this journey right alongside. The light, the divine that resides within me honors, acknowledges, celebrates the light the divine that is each and every one of you. Namaste. And again, I thank you. My name is Becky Tara Eschenroder. You can find more on my website, Great Abiding Yoga. Dot com on Instagram great abiding yoga and on Facebook my name Becky Tara Eschenroder it's a crazy long last name <laughs> so um, you can find it on my website thank you so so much blessings namaste <laughs>